What's up creators? So today we're going to learn about the basics of animation. Also, I got a new mic. Hopefully it's a little bit better quality, but let me know in the comments if it's still better than the other videos. So I did a live stream about animations. And during that live stream, I realized there's a lot more to animations than I thought there was. But I decided to split it up into three main categories for animations. So there's implicit, explicit, and tween animation. Implicit pretty much means that Flutter does the default things that it thinks it needs to do in order to make the animation happen. For example, let's say you have a picture. You have a picture of size 10. You do set state. You set the state and make it size 20. That's going to set the state and automatically do whatever it needs to do, animate it to look like it needs to, however it needs to look for the size to be 20. Using It does this using in, this thing called interpolation. You can look it up if you don't know what that is. But the second option is explicit. So implicit was it automatically does what it, whatever it wants to in order to make the animation work, to do whatever. And explicit is where you have to specifically define what you want it to do. So you want to, for explicit, you need to use this thing called usually an animated controller. Animated controller. Using this controller, you're going to be telling your animation what it needs to do. If it's rotate, then you're going to have this and you're going to rotate it around to however you want, right? Size transition, you change the size a bit. Not not too nothing too complex. And then tween Tween is where you define between what values you want to send. So let's say you want to change size. So you pass in tween. Oh man, what did, what happened there? You pass in tween and zero to ten. And it'll and then inside you do whatever you want with that size. Let's say font, and it'll go from zero to ten using a specific duration. Also, one more note, the all implicit widgets are named animated something. So like animated container, animated widget, or animated whatever. All the explicit ones are something transition. So rotation transition, size transition, sliding transition, etc. All right, so here we have a basic app. We have our main, and then we have our home screen. So the main, we just call the home. And our home, all we have is animated and animation in the, in the app bar, and that's it. So let's start making some animations. So in the body, we're going to have a center, child, column, Children widgets, and in here we're going to have an animated container. Duration, let's do duration seconds, two seconds. So, animated container is the implicit type. Um, we're going to want to add an image, so let me do that real quick. Okay, so we added an image, and then we can continue with this. Um, here we'll add a picture of a cat, cat.jpg, and we want the animation to happen for two seconds. So how is the, how is the animation going to work? So let's say we want the height. Let's define a, vari a Boolean variable here called big. Start off as false. So if, if we want it to be big, we want it to the height to be 200. We want it to be small. We want the height to be, let's say, 40 for now. And then, let's we, let's say we want to add a raise button underneath. Child text animate. And on pressed, we will want to set state big. Not equal to big. Big equal to not big. 
Now we'll see our cat. And every time we animate, we'll set the state. And this container will have to rebuild. And it will animate the building process to the next build using interpolation. Just like that. And we have our two seconds defined. You can add types of curve. Curve is how it animates, kind of. So let's say we want curves dot uh, ease is in cubic so it has a cubic graph for how it goes in. so you see slow and then faster slow and then faster you can even see it see better with this too so slow and then faster slow and fast so that's implicit animation push the explicit animation We'll need rotation transitions or something like that. So how many turns we want? We want animation controller turns. We don't have that defined yet, but that's OK. So animation controller equals, not equals, animation controller. So once we, the animation controller basically controls how we do the animation, right? So here the number of turns is going to be defined in the animation controller. You have to initialize the animation controller in the init state. So here we can make animation controller. Why are you not finishing for me? Is a new animation controller with Duration, let's make it 10 seconds. And, and we need to have this thing called vsync. And this with single uh, provide sync or provider mixing. To be completely honest with you guys, I'm not exactly sure what this is. I think so a ticker I think it kind of takes does the timing of it. I think that's what it is, but I need to do a little bit more research on that. And then so this defines the animation. So when we have a rotation here, where are we missing? Uh child child of let's do the same image dot asset images cat dot jpeg I missed the J in there. Oh here's where the comma's missing all right returns is not equal no it's not true. And this isn't the problem, but we also have to dispose of it to make sure to dispose of your animations before you leave the screen or anything. I think we're going to need to rebuild. I think that's a problem. And it's not rotating. Why is that? Okay, so we have our controller, the amount of turns, alignment, center, and then here we want to do forward. So that does it once, rotates around once. We need to rebuild in order for it to rotate. And hopefully, there we go, it rotates. So you could also do repeat, which will repeat the turning motion forever. Let's make it a little slower so we don't have to just watch it whir. And hopefully, yes, so this should repeat forever. So let's, let's switch it back to just forward. So we don't have to keep watching this. And this, that's pretty much the explicit controller. So this is the very basic, the explicit animation. So uh, you control everything with this animation controller. You pass it into whatever type of transition you want to happen. And it does that. So the last one we have is the tween. 
So tween stands for between. So let's define two values. Let's define double uh, double start equals let's do twelve and double end equals twenty four. So this is where the size will start at and where it would end. We're going to animate a text. So for tween, we will have the tween animation builder. The tween values will be tween double in our case, since we defined it as doubles. And it will begin at underscore start. And it will end at and it will end come on I gotta, gotta do everything myself this episode and it will end with end duration will do duration seconds two and then for the builder have to line up a bit nicer for the builder, we will have this. So you have to pass in the build context. You have to pass in double the size, not the size. Yeah, I guess the size, the size of the text you want, which will start at here and then end here. And then we can pass in the third thing widget uh, child. So you can pass this third option is in, so we don't have to rebuild the widget inside every time. But for this one, we we can we'll just build it inside. But you can let's say you have a you can have a text out here. You can pass that text into this child, so it will know to animate that. So it won't rebuild the text every time. But you still can animate that text. So inside, let's return a column with and wrong bracket column with some children, and the children will be erased. No, a text with a child of animate oh man i am tired <laughs> animate with a style of text style text style font size and it will be defined as size and then let's also have a raise button child Text animate animate and on pressed we would like to set the state and we'll have a little swapping algorithm temp is end um, and equals start and start equals temp. All right, so we should see grow. Then we can do it again, and it'll go back and forth. So we'll just switch between the start and the end position. You can obviously just do it once, and it'll go between one and another, or you can have it swap around. I just did that to make it a little bit more interesting. Yeah, that's it. You can also do reverse on the on the initial on the animation controller I forgot about that and you can change that using a button even but I don't know if you want to do that. you can go check out the live stream that I still have up if you want to see that so in the description I'll leave a, a link to the resources I use to learn about this so you can check those out too so I'll leave a link to the animation widgets catalog. It shows you all of them. So animated stuff, 
implicit and explicit ones. The tween's not in here. Not sure why, but it's not in there. And that's that's pretty much it. So I'll have the code up on GitHub so you guys can download it. If you have any questions or anything, leave it in the comments. Make sure to like, subscribe, and save. And thanks for watching.